first hello everyone welcome to this video lesson in this video lesson would like to talk about the deviation produced by a prism combination without dispersion we mean to say we are going to use combination of two prisms which were arranged in a proper way say for example this is prism 1 and this is some another prism we are going to arrange the two prisms in such a way that when you pass the light through this prism it happens that in one prism light will be deviated as well as dispersed but we are arranging them in such a way that dispersion of one prism is being cancelled by the dispersion of the other prism so the end result is i will get a wave or a light ray which is deviated from its original path because its original path is supposed to be like this but it came out like this so it can have a deviation this is what is its angle of deviation is it can have a deviation but the light ray has not split into multiple colors rather it is in only one color like a monochromatic source this kind of arrangement is called something like achromatic doublet because the white color splitting into multiple colors and then forming images of multiple colors is called something like chromatic aberration elimination of that chromatic aberration is called achromatism as we are using the two prisms for that to happen this is called something like achromatic doublet so in this achromatic doublet what can happen is deviation is very much there what is the deviation produced by the light ray is deviation of the first prism plus a deviation of the second prism but no dispersion the dispersion produced theta who is actually the combination of the two prisms deviations angular dispersion is equal to zero theta means angular dispersion where in the previous video lesson we have explained two extreme colors like red and uh, violet can be written as angle of the prism of refractive index of violet minus refractive index of red now as the total dispersion is equal to zero i can write a formula dispersion in the first prism plus dispersion in the second prism is zero they were arranged like this so dispersion in the first prism is a1 of and refractive index of the red of the respective prism equal to a2 of refractive index of violet of the second prism and refractive index of the prism as the prism varies these two uh, refractive indices also varies from here i can write angular dispersion due to the first one is minus of angular dispersion due to the second one so i can write even a minus sign so you got a formula like this uh r now anyway i got one formula this is one answer definitely but suppose if i want to express it in terms of say the dispersive power is being defined as something like a refractive index of the say one color violet color minus refractive index of index of the red color by the average refractive index minus 1 so the numerator term is very much present in these equations but the denominator term is not present so to express this equation in terms of the dispersive power say if you want to express you shall divide the entire equation with the refractive index of the yellow minus 1 so let us do that from the equation number 1 from equation number 1 a1 to of violet and red that belongs to the first color first prism first thin prism where if the as i have divided that i shall also multiply with that refractive index of yellow minus 1 with respect to the second prism let us repeat the same a2 like we are having here 
refractive index of the violet for the second prism, red for the second prism, refractive index of the yellow for the second prism minus 1 and multiply with the same term. If you relook at this equal to dispersive power of the respective prism. The remaining term is nothing but the, the deviation which is called something like a angular deviation of the prism. So what I can write dispersive power 1 and then angular deviation 1 of the first prism is minus again this is the dispersive power of the second prism all that are nothing but the angular deviation of that second prism minus dispersive power of the second prism and the angular deviation of the second prism. So if you arrange the two prisms such a way that dispersive power of the first prism by dispersive power of the second prism is minus deviation of the second prism by deviation of the first prism. Then the prism acts like a combination we will produce only deviation without any dispersion. So the output of the system will have only one color. We have only one color solved and this phenomena is called something like achromatism. This is how I can use the combination of two prisms and get the deviation but without a dispersion. Both deviation and dispersion are unwanted for us in a prism. We want to eliminate in fact both of them but we cannot eliminate both of them practically that's why we are at least trying to eliminate one therefore we can live with the other one right thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you